Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. After Range Down, we've got the Tesus Zagana PX9. I did a table review on this last week and a lot of people said that that's a cross between an XD and an FN and I can certainly see that. At first glance it looks like an XD but then you look at the way that slide is cut kind of gives an FN look but it's a budget handgun. I picked this up at AIM Surplus for $2.99 after shipping and tax and transfer. I have a little over $3.50 into it, but it offers quite a bit, including a holster and three 18 round magazines. I got a lot of feedback. People said it's a great gun. It's a Striker Fire Polymer Wonder 9, but it is full size with a 4.5 inch barrel. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. These are my first shots from the Zagana PX9. We'll start with the rapid. Nice! Those are my first shots and I have to say I think I did pretty well. I may have missed only one, but it's a nice looking handgun. It's a nice firing handgun. Some of the other features include front serrations, adjustable rear sight, steel front sight, serrated black. Uh, the, it does have interchangeable back straps, 18 round magazines. Trigger pull is right there. I'm measuring at five and a half pounds. And you're looking at a reset of right there. Trigger's a little bit squishy, but it's it's a good looking gun. It does have an ambidextrous thumb safety. Alright, that's kind of stiff, but it is on both sides. And a slight sight hole indicator. And a rail on the dust cover, but not bad. Not bad at all. I do have another mag loaded up. Let's go ahead and See if I can roll through this a little quicker this time. We'll start with the tombstone on the left. Okay, little hang up there. We'll see if we can. I have a dead trigger. Now this is a educational moment right now I had a dead trigger and it is locked the slides locked all right so instead of trying to force it like this I'm gonna grab the top of the slide nice and tight and I'm gonna push the grip forward to release that case or that live round really not sure pointing the gun in a safe direction and try that again Now I'm going to lock the slide back, and it looks like it's a live round, so let me go ahead and put the mag back in. We'll see what happens here. Here we go. And another little hang up. It's a new gun. That one is a live round. Let's go ahead with the... And there we go. So that might be growing pains with it being a new gun. But I have no qualms at all. Or any problems whatsoever with the accuracy. But that was S&B 115 grain ball ammo uh, brass case. But let me go ahead and load it up. One thing I did not mention is that it has a striker fire indicator in the back. All right, the red dot there. So I'll go ahead and load it up. We'll back up a little bit and see how the Zagana PX9 performs. All right, so now we're going to go with steel case. This is tool ammo. And see if the Zagana PX9 will take and fire all the... Okay, 
15 or 16 yards away. Um, it took all those just fine. I think that was just growing pains. Possibly just getting some rounds through it. Not too unusual, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Field stripping the PX9 is real easy. The magazine's removed, slide lock back. Just going to move that lever down, release the slide, and pull the trigger. You can see that it does have a dual recoil spring, an all steel guide rod, and very heavy set rails on the frame. And then just dis or reassemble, same way in reverse order. But let's go ahead and see if the slide will charge itself when slamming a mag home. And it does. And it did not actually charge a round. So we'll see if uh, this did. There it is. Tisas Zagana PX9. The couple jams that I had initially, I'm going to give a pass on that because those were the first shots. And um, sometimes that happens when you get a new gun. A lot of guys get a new gun and they get all upset about it and they, they feel let down and disappointed because the gun didn't fire. A lot of these companies don't put hundreds of rounds through it before it hits the gun store shelf. And so that responsibility falls on us and actually it performed better with steel case after I had a couple mags through it if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe